hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free in today's video i'm going to explain you about the attribution theory in the subject of organization behavior so first before learning what is attribution theory let us understand what attribution is and then let us learn what do you mean by attribution theory okay first attribution refers to the way in which people will explain or justify their own behavior of others or behavior of others that is how you are explaining or how you are justifying the behavior suppose you did something uh, suppose you you know you have thrown a, a chocolate wrapper on the road and somebody is saying that whatever you have done is wrong how you are explaining it how you are justifying what you have done whether it may be good or bad so not only about you even about others also so how you are judging others or how you are justifying others behavior or your behavior is called as attribution it can be done in a positive way or it can be done in a negative way suppose you happen to throw a piece of you know a, cho a chocolate wrapper on the road some people will be saying like uh, he doesn't have common sense uh he he just uh, throwed it on the road some people will say that maybe he is in a hurry or maybe uh he did not notice he by mistakenly he throwed it or some people will say there is no appropriate garbage then where will he throw so for every action there will be people who will judge you both positively and negatively so that is what attribution means how you are judging how you are explaining the behavior it may be of yours or of the opposite person okay now let us learn what is attribution theory basically it is a three step process which includes observing the behavior of a person and determining whether the observed behavior is intentional or not and determining whether the behavior is caused by external or internal factors observing the behavior means for example just now i said you right throwing a piece of chocolate wrapper on the road so you are observing a person that he is throwing chocolate wrapper on the road and determining whether observed behavior is intentional or not that is whether he wantedly he threw that paper on road or by mistakenly it has fallen down from his pocket or from his bag so that and also determining whether the behavior is caused by the internal or external factors internal factors means our uh, you know our own skills our own efforts our own hard work or our own mistakes those all are internal factors external factors means from outside you already learned about internal and external factors in the selectual i mean perceptual selectivity video right so these three things are determined by attribution theory next this theory will suggest that the behavior of others can be examined on the basis of three things they are distinctiveness consistency and consensus okay so what are these three things and let us learn about them now so not only on these three things you know behavior of others can be determined with the help of these three things is what i said not only these things attribution theory will also depend on input from the internal and external factors you know what are internal and external factors right personal our personal factors like our skill our intelligence our uh, memory power everything which are under our control external factors means which are not under our control okay so it depends on internal and external factors as well now let us see what are those three things so distinctiveness consensus and consistency what do you mean by distinctiveness the degree to which a person behaves differently in different situation is called distinctiveness suppose you are at home at home what is your job you are a son or a daughter or a brother or a sister when you are at your college what is your role your role is a student when you are with your friends what is your role you are a friend so when you are in college and when you are at home and when you are partying with your friends you cannot behave in the same way right so when you are at college you'll be uh, you know you'll be doing your work or you'll be listening to the class or you'll just be silent you'll be calm or you'll you know you'll be in your own world and when you are at home you'll have some other different world you have some freedom you can watch tv you can play you can talk to your family members you can do whatever you want and when you are with your friends you can do whatever you want so you are not behaving in the same way at all the three places right so distinctiveness means same 
means the same degree to which a person will behave differently at different different situations okay and what is this high low arrow marks i'll tell you later don't worry okay next is what consensus so what do you mean by consensus it refers to the behavior of an individual as compared to the behavior of the other people at the same situation for example when you are at your college along with you there are so many students in the class for example you are there and your friend is there you are a very not you know notorious you know we are a very naughty person you don't listen to the class uh, you keep on disturbing the class and all but whereas your friend he is a very studious person he want to listen to the class he want to be attentive in the class he want to get good marks so in the same situation both of you are in the same class but your behavior is different right so that is called as consensus it refers to the behavior of an individual when compared to the other person and both of them are in the same situation okay distinctiveness means behaving differently at different situations consensus means two people how they are behaving in same situation okay this is what consensus means okay next is consistency in consistency you already know the meaning of the word consistency right the continuity of behavior of a, over a long period of time you're not changing your behavior for example morning when you go to college you are very fresh you are very active and you know you have lots of energy but by the evening you will become tired that is not consistency what is consistency then how you are in the morning the same activeness the same energy should be even in the evening also that is what consistency means same behavior same behavior every time okay so this is what consistency means you got to know about three factors and why we have to learn about these three factors because the behavior of a person can be examined on the basis you can get to know about the behavior of a pe person based on these three factors okay distinctiveness consensus and consistency okay now what is this external internal low high i'll tell you for example if the consistency is high then that is because of internal factors if the consistency is low then that is because of external factors suppose your friend is there he is having very good consistency from morning to evening he is very active he is having good energy and whenever you go to him or her they are very you know they are very uh, welcoming and you know you they are just you feel like how these people are the same all the day so those people are having high consistency why because of the internal factors they are keeping themselves active they are keeping themselves you know uh, always energetic if the consistency is low because of external factors because of external factors they are getting influenced and their consistency is getting reduced the same with consensus also if it is high then be that is because of external factors if it is low then that is because of internal factors and distinctiveness distinctiveness is also if it is high then that is because of external factors and distinctiveness is low then that is because of internal factors got it this is attribution theory attribution theory means the main point is this thing this table so in this table what are there distinctiveness consensus and consistency are there internal external factors are there so you need to also know about these things in order to explain this table more clearly got it so this is about attribution theory and i hope this video is clear to you in the next video i'll explain about locus of control and yeah that's all for this video let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic